I was telling myself I need to make sure and look through my peep sight. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if I looked through my peep sight. <laughs> you know, I know I did, but for real. Like, I don't know I did. For real, for real. I know what you're saying. Hey, I mean, he's dead. Yeah, let's go uh, get let's him. Let's get dude. down. Let's go get him. <laughs> oh, man. Goodness. Look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> dude, he's like missing most of his ear. Look at that. You just witnessed one of our coolest encounters ever. Tyler was filming, I was in the tree as a hunter, that deer was at 12 yards, point blank, and I took a hard quarter two shot, and it was super effective. And we're about to show you some of our greatest shots ever. We're gonna talk about yardage and tree stand height. Note the disposition of the animal, and also the angle of the body as you look at this, and maybe you can learn something from it. If you have any questions, comment below. is just awesome uh, I'll talk about a couple things here that I think made it success successful was just the ability to work hard um, our buddy had texted me um, did the wind just do a 180 shift on y'all and I was like yeah and I shot a buck and be because of it you know and it was just a complete blessing this
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come here. This is incredible. <laughs> but I stand up, get a range of 57 to say, okay, on alert, I can't do that. He comes back and I range this yucca at 39. He steps in front of it. I put my 30 mid body release and I absolutely hammer this thing. I My mean, God. I mean, <laughs> hammer. That's a good looking eight point, dude. That's exactly what I wanted to shoot in South Dakota. Like a two or three year old. What happened? Dude. Whenever he started going, uh, chasing that doe the last few steps, he was within 20 yards, and so I just put it on his shoulder, and the day six went right through. Well, here he is, uh, my buddy John. Big thanks to him for coming out here and helping me. And for the shot, I mean, quartering away. Well, here we are, we got her pulled out. Uh, you know, nature of the beast for most of us here in Texas is not big muy grande deer.
pulled the trigger a quarter and away. I think I smoked him. I mean, obviously he, he went out there and died in the field. So this is a great day. Things right. And this has just been a cool experience. You know, one thing I, I don't want to forget here to talk about, this year KC and I have kind of had a, uh, some different themes kind of going on. You know, I've been praying a lot. I'm getting in the stand early and sitting in the dark, especially out here. Uh, just because of the way this sets up, I feel like I need to get in the stand early and I've been praying. Um, picture perfect so put a pretty good shot on her it might be a, a little higher than what I wanted it to be but it's definitely still a kill shot so uh, look at all the flies already my gracious that was awesome It's cold. It's like 34 and blowing about 15 or 20 out of the out of the southeast. And I had been holding for a while, so I'm not sure, you know, if I should have waited till he's broadside or or what. But you just never know which direction he's going to go when he's you know pittering around like that. So I took the shot and I felt like it at least got a good solid one long. This is one eye jack. I really can't believe that uh, I'm sitting here holding him because I didn't have plans to shoot this buck in the beginning of the season. And uh, we just I just got it done. Justin was about to head home, uh, packing the truck, and I was in the stand. And he came in kind of early chasing a doe. I actually self-filmed him. This buck is seven and a half years old. As far as we know, uh, we have game pictures of him back to 2011. And uh, this year is probably maybe his heaviest year. Um, you can see he carries out his mask.
No, Greg just Could does do. it out of a lawn chair. Yep. Could do. Never saw you draw? Huh. Wow. I don't even know so many emotions go through your head and then to make a shot that ended up being pretty good honestly but you just never know if you don't see them fall it's it's so sketchy so you know the blood kind of got a little bit light in the dark and um, I decided to wait until this morning to go in there and luckily he didn't get eaten by coyotes Watched it go 50 heart shot, dude. Oh my goodness. Dude, he ran 50 yards and he's laying 40 from it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> oh my 